Scientists at the Van Endel Institute have made a discovery that could be beneficial for women dealing with osteoporosis. Emily Leonard tells us more about it. Nearly 19% of women in the U.S. age 50 and older have osteoporosis. These new findings could lead to an improvement in treatments. Joining us now to talk more about this is Van Andel Institute professor Connie Krozik. Connie, can you tell us more about the study? Yeah, so this is a study where we found that a gene that is specifically expressed higher in females than males was found, we found it that it regulated bone mass. And um, so this was a surprising study, but nonetheless, um, it, it has been exciting. Wow, so what are some of the interesting findings that you guys came across that you didn't expect to find? So I'm an immunologist by training and uh, I largely study the immune system. And so we were, we were studying this gene in the context of immunity and we discovered um, in the animals that were missing this gene that they had really dense bones. And we were very lucky to have an expert down the hall, Dr. Tao Yang, uh, who understood bone physiology. And uh, together we formed a wonderful collaboration looking at um, how this gene regulated bone mass. And it turns out this gene, it's called KDM5C, it promotes the activity of these cells called osteoclasts. And these osteoclasts, um, their job is to sort of chew up the bone and, and form or um, help form the bone. And um, they promote the degradation of the bone. So without the function of these osteoclasts, the bone is, is more dense. And so what we found is that this activity of the osteoclast was regulated through modulating cellular metabolism. So with this information you found, what can you do to improve treatment going forward? Well, what this shows you is this is a new pathway uh, regulating uh, bone mass and osteoclastogenesis. And it was really surprising and unexpected. So now we have a new area or new mechanism that we can study, researchers in general can study and start to understand how this pathway may lead to changes in bone mass or diseases such as osteoporosis. So is that the next step we're studying? Yeah, so I think the next step is really following this research and understanding more about how this gene regulates bone in, in the healthy setting, but also in a disease setting. Connie Krozik from Van Andel Institute. Very interesting information. Thanks for sharing with us. Have a good day.